Hope everyone's having a good day. Doing uh, Sunday Fun Day Dirty Burgers today. I hope everyone's been doing pretty good. I hope y'all enjoy these little Blackstone cooking videos. I enjoy cooking on it because it's you're able to do stuff so fast, clean up so fast. Um, it just makes it uh, very easy and very convenient cooking with the Blackstone. Cleaning up outside is a lot easier than cleaning up outside. Sweet peppers, jalapeno, and onion. I love them on my burgers. Not an everybody thing, but for me, I absolutely love peppers and onions. Basically, all vegetables except for mushrooms. Here. This is a black truffle and butter sauce. I enjoy it. This is a black garlic seasoning that I make myself. I ferment my own black garlic and make seasoning with it. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite seasonings, for sure. One of my favorite seasonings is actually a uh, McCormick's Maple Smokehouse, but I'm actually out of it. some on the veggies so they can just get up to par with the rest yeah. they're a thin thin burger patty so I want the uh, I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my toppings to uh, oh I think the lid put one of them off The wind actually put one out. If y'all can't hear the wind, it's pretty windy today. I actually put out one of the burners, but the igniter just ignites, ignites them right back up, so it's pretty convenient anyway. But as you can see, that black garlic gets a nice, nice color crust to it on the sauteed on the vegetables. All the black you see is from the black garlic. And then what you also be able to tell to see on your crank the heat up some on this. What you also be able to see some on your on your blackstone is that you're able to uh, do so much. You know, you're able to do a, you're really able to do a lot because uh, it's a 36 inch cooking space. So you're able to put so much on here at a time. Like in a second, you're gonna see me put the uh, the buns on here as well. Put a little butter on it. And, I like putting dill and a butter seasoning on the on the buns to give them a nice little toast. Uh, it comes out pr pretty awesome every time. I really and uh, I really enjoy putting the bread on here, probably more than anything. It does a nice little toast. There's so much space on here. It's flat, so it makes it to where you can cook the, the bread nicely on it. Um, and the toasted bread on a burger is literally night and day difference. It's absolutely phenomenal having a nice toasted burger bun. I promise you that.
and you'll see that it's actually how fast you can make burgers with your blackstone. And this is, like I said, my heat. The heat's not even that high at all right now. I just cranked it up a little bit on both. The vegetables are, are all the way up right now. And then I actually like the, the basil extra virgin olive oil. I use it pretty often as well. And it helps you have a good sear with another flavor on top of it. Because one thing about your blackstone is that you want to make sure you always keep some type of oil base on it so you don't have nothing drying on there. You don't want to cause rust. You don't have to deal with rust. If you're able to, clean up while you're, while you're cooking. Clean up right after you cook if you're not able to while you're cooking. Um, it really helps help you a lot and make it a lot easier. Uh, making your blackstone last. Make it where you have to loot, use um, water a lot less because water will make it to where your uh, will make your grill warp. Water uh, it helps you clean, but it'll also make your grill warp a lot faster. So when you're able to try to avoid using water, if you're able to clean, just add a little bit of oil, do so. what I do with them. Really easy to do this as well. It's, all this is easy. You do not have to be a chef to do any of this crap. Yeah. It's all very easy. So there's the two for now. Butter spray here, pretty good and thorough. Yeah, I rub this butter seasoning on there just to add more butter. Buttery garlic salt by Kinder's just adds more butter to it. And you'd be surprised, but dill is actually awesome with the butter on a burger. I highly recommend recommend checking that out for sure. It's a great mix on your burger bun. And you just repeat this for the top and the bottoms. I'm just gonna do two for right now. Just don't want the video. I want the video to be as short as possible. No way any time wasted. You know, I don't want y'all having to see me make all the burgers and stuff. So I'm trying to show y'all in the fastest way possible how you can do burgers and you can see how to do a bunch through seeing me do this many. And you can do a lot more than this. This is 10 burgers. There's 10 burger patties on the on the on the flat top grill right now. And you can do way, way more than that. Let them toast some. Come back over yonder. Give the burgers a flip again. From here, we're going to give them a good smash. Like I said, when able, try to try to clean along the way, especially when it comes to fatty fatty meat products. As you can see, all that fat wants to sit on top of your grill. So you should have a crack tray on the back of your black stone and let it do some kitchen, you know? Get your grills off of the space. Get them in the bottom over here. Get them out the way. Sometimes I'll grab this, the burger fat and I'll actually put it in there with my, uh, with my toppings over there, my, with my peppers and onions. Sometimes I'll put it over there with that. You know, so then you can just grab your scraper. You can clean as you do. 
see how easy everything goes when you're, when you're, when you're tackling, tackling the job as you're cooking already. So your cleanup job is not hard. Look how easy everything's driving across. You take care of your blackstone, your blackstone will take care of you. Just like your vehicles, you know. Clean it as you, clean it as you go. Look, you clean up a lot, a lot easier. Just like that, you have a clean cooking surface again. Call your burgers back. Now those onions. Actually, I'm gonna grab the bread. The bread should be done. So I'm gonna open the cheese. Got the bottom bun there. Got a gorgeous, nice toast on there. Probably feel that it go a little bit more, maybe. See how the deal gets a real nice glaze on there. Set the cheese on. And I also like to cheese my top buns as well. Simple, easy. Anyone can make amazing bourbons. And then I like to get this Kinder's makes a pretty awesome bourbon peach barbecue sauce. And like I said, this uh, Melinda's makes a pretty awesome black truffle sauce. It's a black truffle butter sauce. And I'll pile them on both, usually to the cheese afterward here like this. Usually put the barbecue sauce in the bottom bun. Black truffle on the top bun. Put the toppings here. They could probably go a little longer, but they're done enough for me. So we give the burgers one little smash, and then the burgers are done. Little smash. I'm actually going to go ahead and kill the heat now. My girlfriend only eats her burgers with cheese on it, so that's all you'll see on hers that I'm about to make here. And then you'll see mine with all the toppings and hot sauce and what I really essentially wanted for a dirty burger when I, I made the first dirty burger. Which one do you want? I don't care. You want any of the, the barbecue the Japanese sauce or anything? Does no. that need to be open? No. You don't want none of them, the, the, no. the burger one too? None of them? No. That's a damn shame, man. I don't even want the hot sauce, but yet you put it on there anyway. 
Give it a little spanking. Make my burger. Proper dirty burger. Well, I normally would use that Japanese barbecue sauce, but it's not open, so we're not going to open it. This is a peach habanero sauce that I make myself. It's, uh, it's pretty spicy. I like to put that on there. That bourbon bar peach barbecue sauce is awesome. Peaching it up tonight. Peaching it up. Put that on there. The black truffle sauce on there. Sauce me up. I love the sauce. And then I apply as much stuff that will hold on here. Just all of it, you know. Give me it all. Peppers, onions, sweet peppers, just all of it. On there, pretty good. I got my top bun here. Assemble the dirty burger. A lot of times I do double meats as well. But not today. Regular old single, single dirty burger. You're gonna try it. Well, on the video, you try it. Let me get my gloves off. Why do I, I'm not presentable for camera. Try. Alright, y'all go make y'all some dirty burgers.